All right, there, there we go. Okay, everybody. So hello, hello, hello. I am streaming both on YouTube and on Facebook at the same time. So I'm going to be looking back and forth to each uh, camera. Okay. So hello, YouTube. What's going on? This is my first time going live with you all. So I hope you are going to be here and interact with me. What's going on, Facebook? Y'all know I rock with y'all. What's up? So today we're going to be doing something I want to do new, which is called Cup and Conversation. So Basically, what it is, is you grab your cup of whatever you're going to drink. I'm drinking tea today, and this time I'm doing this tea right here. It's the Sweet Tangerine Positive Energy from Yogi. Is that how y'all say it? Yogi, Yogi. Y'all know I don't know how to talk like that. So that's what I'm drinking also. You can grab your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, orange juice, a little early for liquor, but if that's your cup of tea, then you do what you do, all right? And it was about talking to you all today about um, food related questions that you all may have. So you can drop those in the comment sections right now if you have any, if you didn't get to me earlier. But I do have some questions that was asked to me um, on a post that I did do on Facebook as well as on Instagram and people also text me. So I'm going to be answering those questions until I can get some more questions to come in. Otherwise, we're just going to rock with these and that'd be it. However, um, it is going to be about um, the series I want to start up. Okay, so like today I say it's about asking anything. Then after that, we're going to talk about different topics. Like I have a topic on just talking about different types of knives that we use in our kitchens and things like that. I might do personal one day or something like that, but I want to make it funny inter and, and interactive. Okay, so for those who don't know, I am Patrice Sykes, Princess of Cooking, where you always hear me say, Cooking from the heart. That's all it is. That's all, that's that's what soul food is, y'all. It's cooking from the heart. Okay, soul cooking, not soul food, but soul cooking is cooking from the heart. And I always say, see you in the pinch, right? That's me. All right. So the first question I have up here that I have was someone asked me was, what is your favorite gadget and why? I felt like that was a loaded question. <laughs> It was a hard question because, oh my God, how's my eye? I have so many gadgets that I like. You all have probably seen them in my videos. You've probably seen them in some of my pictures. I have a lot of gadgets inside of my kitchen. So you can see behind me right here is a lot of gadgets right there. There's a lot of tools for y'all on Facebook. Y'all can't see that. <laughs> so there you go. So, um, but one of my favorite favorites is a mix and chop. It's a pamper chef item. And what it does is it actually helps crumple up your ground meat. You just get it right on in there. You start twisting and turning. Do I have it here so y'all can see? Actually, um, I do. So here it is. This is a mix and chop. This is one of my favorite gadgets right here. Okay. So y'all can see that's one of my favorite gadgets. Okay. Um, I can link that because I am... Um, a consultant with the Pamper Show. So <laughs> I can link that, but just know if you do click on that link, I will get a small little commission off of that. Okay. So that is uh, one of my favorites. I do have others. Um, I'll talk about those another time. So I'm going to get to these questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another question was manual chopping. Or food processor. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I like both. It just depends on what's going on. I actually like chopping. I don't know what it is um, mentally. I don't know the feel of it. I'm not sure, but I love chopping. So I'll actually chop up things until it's like something for a big event or like a holiday. Then I will go for the food processor because it goes faster and we can get things done and out the way. OK, so yes, yes, yes. I love like I said, I love chopping, but I, you know, during the holidays and stuff like that for big events, I go for the food processor. Um, OK, y'all. Grits. She says salt or sugar. Um, Salt. We can argue about it later because <laughs> I am not putting no sugar inside of my grits. I'm sorry. That's just not me. I'd rather have some butter, some salt and pepper. That's it. That's how grits need to be. Um, okay. Now, I love this one. Most memorable childhood meal. And can you duplicate it today? All right. I have a few that I um, have been able to make. I've actually even had been able to make it better. Sorry, mom. But <laughs> Brussels sprouts back in the day, it used to be um, basically uh, boiled. And you're going to hear my dog come down in a minute. I'm sorry. 
she's about to go outside. Um, but yeah, so it used to be Brussels sprouts and they used to just boil them with, you know, butter. They put the salt and pepper on it and everything like that. However, today, now, I rather have it sauteed with a little bit of olive oil, some salt, some pepper, and I'm not going to lie, a little bit of bacon. I'm, I just love having the bacon in it, y'all. So that's one thing I feel like I was able to duplicate, but make it better. Um, also, there's um, two things my mama make, and I just cannot seem to make it like her. They're good, but it just don't taste like my mom's, which are um, pink salmon croquettes and her smothered potatoes. Now, I can do both. I really can. But I just can't make it like my mama make it. You know, it's like she could be standing right next to me and I'm making it, y'all, and I just... I just can't get it. I don't know what it is. It's just not the same as mama's. So I don't know. Um, so anytime I touch down to where she is or anytime she touched down to here in Cali, I'm like, you're not leaving the state. I'm not leaving the state until you make my sour croquettes and my smothered potatoes. I don't know. I just, that's just how it is. And she knows. Um <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> um, I have a few things coming in here, but yeah, I have no idea. Okay, so uh, here's another question I have an issue with salt, how much the different kinds and what it all means. So, with that being stated, um I'm going to just put it to you like this. I could do a totally separate video on salt and salt content. I can do that like crazy, right? Because there's so many out there, different types of salts. You have your table salt, you have your kosher salt, your sea salt, your Himalayan salt, your specialty salt, your seasoned salt. There are just so many different salts out there. And I can't sit here and name all of them off to you at the moment. However, I can tell you that it comes down to your taste on it. Okay. Now I did look up a little something, something for y'all. Um, technically speaking, adults shouldn't have more than um, a whole, about one fourth of a teaspoon of salt a day. I thought that was crazy. However, you know, I don't know who, um, I don't know what's going on over here on Facebook, but yeah, I'm going to keep on going. <laughs> um, so yeah, it says that we shouldn't have more than a fourth of a teaspoon, um, right now a day. However, you know, darn well, we have way more than that, especially in my community. Okay. So uh, with that being stated, how do you block people off of here? Because I don't know what they're doing over here, y'all. I'm so sorry, YouTube, but I got folks over here talking about stuff I don't even know they're talking about. Like, I have no idea. I don't know. What are y'all talking about over here? But this is not the place for that. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all can go by. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. So, um, yeah, I'll saying, oh, not a fourth, a half a teaspoon of salt a day. Okay. So. Um, but when it comes to the salt content, you have to taste as you go. I always say you can put in just a little bit inside of your, um, your meal and then taste it later. You know, I mean, not taste it, but taste as you go, but I rather under salt than over salt any day and then just add salt into it later on. Okay. So favorite cooking and music for me, y'all it's old school. It's old school. I am an old school lover. That's just me. We can, I can rock that out. So you might start seeing videos where I actually am cooking um, and dance around in my kitchen, but you won't hear anything because I'll be doing some um, voiceover for you all because I like, good morning. I like to um, listen to some music when I'm actually cooking. It makes me feel better. Okay. So um, what's the best way to learn about spices? She says, I, liter I literally just learned that cumin was the spice that I tasted most in taco seasoning. Also, do you prefer to make your own spice sequence or buy the packs? Okay. Let me go through and these in order. Okay. So do you, Okay. I literally just okay. So when it comes to spices, you just have to taste them. To be honest with you, like I mean, literally go whatever you're buying, you can put it in your hand and just taste it straight like that. Um, for like cumin, you know, just don't put it a whole lot because cumin got a, got a distinct flavor and it's strong by itself. But if you just go ahead and start smelling it and tasting it, you'll start understanding what the different types of seasoning is and what is which ones you like. Um, be careful with 
when it comes to um, uh, like peppers, cayenne pepper, you know, stuff like that. Be careful with those like white, white uh, pepper, black pepper, of course. Just be careful when you're trying to taste those because I want you to burn, burn up your tongue. Okay. <laughs> so be careful with those. But it's, it, it's all about your flavors, your taste buds and things like that. So just start playing around with different spices and you'll start understanding which ones you like and which goes better in which foods. Okay. Um, now, as far as my own spice, do I buy packs? I do still buy packs of seasonings, depending on what's going on. And then I, there are some times when I just sit here and I can mix up something and throw it together and season up my uh, my foods. Okay. So um, as far as like, for instance, like taco seasonings, um, I'm going to do a video to show you all how to make your own taco seasoning at home. So you don't have to go out and buy those packs. Or if you're just used to buying packs for that one day, you're just like, mm. I don't have it and you really want to make tacos that day, I'll show you something like that. Different marinades that you can make for your um, meats. I'll also show you a few of those as well. Um, and I do have a spice store that I go to out here. And I'm not saying I walk in there. I'm going to show y'all a video of that one day. When I walk in there, y'all, it's spices from like Spice Galore. Like I fall in love in there. Hey cousin, thank you so much for joining me. I don't know what's going on. Um, yes, I am a season, a seasoning hoarder. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I can show y'all, but I'm not trying to turn all my stuff around right now. But yes, I have seasonings galore in my cabinets because I like to dibble and dabble. I like to, you know, hey, it's all about trying to figure things out, get in there and have fun. Cause that's why I like to tell people cooking is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. You're supposed to like have be laughter in your kitchen. This is where you make memories. This is a thing that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life, right? Eating. So why not enjoy it doing it yourself, which is cooking. Just saying. Um, she says I'm spicy enough. Okay, girl. <laughs> um, how do you reseason or can you reseason a cast iron skillet? Yes, you can reseason a cast iron skillet. I like to say for those who are beginning, okay, you would like, I say buy your own seasoned cast iron skillet to start off with, just to be honest with you, because it is a little technique, which I I think I'm gonna show y'all how to do one of them. I could do that, because I mine's a pretty darn season. I have them on the stove, you probably can't see it right now, but mine's a pretty good season right now. Um, it's just that when it's, when it's time for you to reseason it, it, it is this little technique to that, and I don't want you just doing it on your own, so I'll come back and do another video for that, okay? Okay, here's some more questions. Come, let me see. Let me see. Um, wood spoons and cutting boards, do they have a shelf life? Okay, there's a huge big debate on wood utensils and cutting boards and things like that. Um, I would say me personally, I use bamboo. So everything that you see back here, these are not wood. This is bamboo. Facebook, y'all can see all the ones that's back here. That's bamboo. I don't have any wood utensils. Same thing with my cutting board. I do have um, their bamboo, except for my ones that my kids just bought me and my husband. Yeah, from Christmas. Those are wood, but those are because they're um, personalized and I don't use those to cut or I just use it for display just to be cute. Okay. <laughs> um, so, because um, wood kind of like gets cracks in them. And sometimes you don't see all the cracks and you don't want no wood in your food. Also, if they start to get uh, soft spots, it's time for you to throw those out because that means that liquid has gotten inside of them and it's starting to warp. And you don't want things like on the inside getting into your food type of thing. So, yeah. Um, what else? Hi, mama. My mama just joined y'all. Say hi to my mama. <laughs> she missed some of my conversation. I was talking about you, mama. Okay. Um, oh, so as far as that, um, for instance, so in culinary school, yes, I went to culinary school. I graduated. Thank y'all very much. In culinary school, we did have the wooden, uh, what you call them things? Rolling pins, right? But And they all, used to always tell us, do not put those rolling pins do not put them all the way down into the water. Just take it, get the towel, and kind of just wipe them off that way. And then same thing with the rinsing. Just don't be drenching it into water. So I would say the same thing, you know, when it comes to your wood. Just make sure you are um, 
kind of like keeping it moistened with oil, not with water. And just make sure you're checking it. Make sure you don't see any chips or anything. Make sure it's not warping. Make sure there's no soft spots in it. Things like that. Okay. And just make sure you keep it clean if you're going to use your wood. Because like I said, it's a big debate. Some people say you should never use it with um, utensils or whatever. But, you know, we all have our personal takes on it, right? Um, best utensils to use when cooking with certain pots. Okay. Now I'm going to say this. Do not. And I'll repeat. Do not put a metal utensil in a non-stick pan that is like the death. <laughs> okay. So if you see behind me, I have basically all kind of like nylon and I have, um, like I said, my bamboo. This one here, this is a fish spatula. So this is something in particular that I have that's metal, but I don't be in my pan scraping no, 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 no. Okay. And then this one is um what I use to get stuff out. And if you see back here, I have a whisk that's um kind of like stainless steel, but I also have one that's nylon. You see what I'm saying? So it depends on what you're using. Do not, and I've said it again, do not be putting that metal into your nonstick pans. Don't do that. That's like, yeah, I, mm, I'm just saying. Okay, so those are all the questions that I had um on my list that people sent me asking me questions. I'm going to scroll through here real quick because I see a lot of y'all was talking about some crazy stuff over here on Facebook. Let me see. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? Y'all got any questions? Y'all let me know. Um, What are we talking about over here? I have no idea. Why is there a D in fridge but not a refrigerator? Bro, I don't know. Um, Show you the fridge. I don't know. When I don't know nothing about no auction, and I don't know. So I'm saying this is some kind of bot thing because I don't know. I'm not selling anything, so boom, get out of there. Um, Amanda Spare, whoever you are, okay. Well, you can keep on going, dude. Um, favorite brand of fridge, dude. I got a Samsung, that's all I know. Uh, okay, they're asking dumb stuff. Okay, so that is all the questions that um I got in. So that's going to be that. Unless y'all have another question, you can always drop them down in the comment. It might come up on the next um, video that I do. And that is pretty much all I have for today, unless anyone has a question right now, you can drop it in. Otherwise, we're going to sign off and I'm going to go through it over here on Facebook and get rid of some people. <laughs> so that's it. Thank y'all so much for joining me. This was an Ask Me Anything. This was also my new series that I'm going to be starting called Cupping Conversations. And yeah. So the next one, I don't know exactly what the topic is going to be. It might be um, about the knives. We shall see. Okay. I really want to get that one out because I've been seeing a lot of people almost slice off their fingers. And I don't like that. I don't want y'all to do that. Okay. All right. So Facebook, I'm out. Peace. YouTube. Thank y'all so much for joining me. If you like this, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. And as always, you can leave your suggestions, your comments in the uh, comment section. Let me know uh, what you might want to see the next time we go live, okay? And be sure to share the videos out. Please, but this was a special um, series. Like I said, I'm starting to call Cup and Conversations, but I'm going to come on here and talk to y'all um, in a sitting environment, not me always moving around, talking and cooking and things like that. Um, so, yes, this is going to be something new that I have just started. I hope you all enjoy this one. I'm going to be coming back to you all soon with another actual topic. It won't be a Cup and Conversation, but it'll be a different topic. And you just have to wait to see. You have to join me to watch that one. Okay. So that's it. That's it. I'm out of here. You all have a fantastic day. It is Saturday. Enjoy your Saturday. It's Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy your Memorial Day.
Memorial Day weekend <laughs> as much as you can. Um, I know some people are still kind of sheltered in place. Do what you can. You guys enjoy it. Celebrate it. Be safe. Have fun. And I'll see you all in the next. Bye.